I did want to go into the antique store with you guys and uh, yeah if you guys want to come on in this is where I picked up that um, those pieces of jewelry for about 77 cents a piece and actually these are the piece a lot of these pieces are what I um, am listing this weekend is what I bought from this um, auction house and I did post a video of me sorting through the jewelry bins and it is about two weeks later and yeah so let's go ahead and see what I can find <music> plan is that I'm going to be heading to the other building because I usually just stop by the front of the store. These kind of caught my attention. Um, look at this. This bracelet is $1.50. Everything in this booth is 20% off as well. So this is really pretty. I think I might grab some jewelry from this booth because it's out. I can look at it and there's some really pretty stuff. So I did pick up some this one I'm still considering, but look at this. It's a flamingo clamper. $10, 20% 20 off, so eight. And then look at this. Vintage monumental Murano glass, 185. That is gorgeous, crazy, stunning foil glass. So neat, but yeah, let's go to the back. That's one building and now we are in the second building so um, I've only been back here once before and that was with my daughter and <laughs> she was a handful Ooh, there's belts here let's see so that looks like 650 their discount in this booth hmm it's interesting yeah some of these vintage belts do pretty decent especially if they have a really neat buckle wide waist belt what is that that what is that kind of look like house of harlow logo when i first looked at it <clears throat> okay oh my gosh look at these banana geese so this is duck nanner 12.99 <laughs> Cute. Ooh, rings. I know you guys love shopping with me. What is this? This is a Premier Designs. It has that crest right there on the inside. This is 150 as is. So I'm assuming there's a little bit of tarnish. Probably like a size 9 or 10. What is the as is? Oh, a little, little bit bent. $1.50. I have to see if this booth has a discount because almost all of them do. Look at these zipper earrings. $3.99. Alright, let's keep looking at the rings because I don't have a lot. This, I'm always on the hunt for Bakelite. $6.50. This is a pretty mod ring. Ooh, what are you? That's cool. This is a genuine stone agate stone. It says any size, so it is sizable. Um, I don't see any marks on it, but so pretty. It's a little bit more worn. There is a cactus, 199 size 8. I mean, this is really cute. Whoa, statement ring. This one's really cute too. It's interesting with the gold tone and the southwestern style. Little blossom style. Um, there is a saying in there probably for dog lovers. Hmm. This is also very pretty. It's a big statement ring and oh, a moon hmm, cute 
Whoop. All right, let's keep going. After I just said, let's keep going, look what I found. <gasps> These are like scarab bugs with abalone shell wings and stars and uh, full price, but what? Someone would love these. I don't see that they're marked. Let's see what the price is. $12.99. I might want to grab these. Um, if they're not worth anything, I will wear them. <laughs> Cause look at them. Uh, yeah. And if I would price them, I would price them at like $40 because they are so crazy unique. Um, so let's take off that hook. Yeah, these, this booth doesn't appear to have a percentage off, so that's interesting. But they have some really, really nice stuff here. So I'm going to look in the belts and then, yeah, see if there's anything else in this booth. So I just bent down, I'm still in the same booth, you guys, um, and I found a bunch of these shoes. What are these? Made in Italy, hiking. These are genuine fur. I've sold a pair that was similar to this. Um, so you can make profit on this, but they're still 33 33 But I wanted to show you guys these. So these are the Dr. Scholl's vintage shoes to look out for. So it has these heavy wooden clogs. They are um, like, I don't know. I don't know. 70s 80s 90s I'm not even sure but this is the one you want to look out for when um, when you're reselling shoes these sell really fast and really well let's see $4.99 okay we're getting those well let's just make sure we see a size on here otherwise I would have to measure okay so these are a size 6 and they are a little bit crackled and stuff, but we're still going to be grabbing those. What's this? Forever 21. Um, yeah, they have some good shoes here for resale, but probably everything's priced up a little bit higher. Yeah, but I'm going to get these for $5, that's for sure. Okay, so I find, found another little spot with some jewelry no um, percentage off that I can see. Let's see if any of these brooches are marked. I mean, good prices. Let's see. Oh, this one's $9.50. So, not a, it's like fantastic price for that one. Um, okay. I think I'll look through these earrings, maybe. Clip-on. Cross clip-on screw backs. I think they're a little bit interesting. They're like dangle. There's a skull with a key. And what are you? A butterfly. There's keys on a lot of these things. Okay, I'm not really seeing a ton here. A look. Mm. They got ready for Halloween and fall coming up. If I had a booth, I think it would be really hard for me to curate <laughs> um, specifically for the holidays because it means you would have to store inventory, which I don't really like doing. I like listing everything and putting it all out. So, yeah. Get this really cute Cloisonne candle snuffer. Eight dollars. Oh, twenty percent off of this. It's so cute. Oh my goodness, I love it. I love cloisonné things. There's a lot of really pretty things in here. Delft Holland. I might want to get this. And then I'm seeing a jewelry jar. Jewelry jar for fourteen dollars. Hmm glass cork canister and then I see some Lisner on the hook 
that might be a little pricey for this, especially considering that I don't know if it is broken or not. So I'm gonna leave that one. I definitely have better luck with Shop Goodwill. They turned these into magnets. Cute. Oh, so cute. Um, what else? Anything else? More beads. Okay, let's keep going. There's a deer who's decorated. <laughs> Nothing over here. Oh, look at this blue. My mom's kitchen um, in our home that we grew up in, she still lives in the same house and it is all blue onion, like the um, original, I don't know, I don't know if it's like German or whatever, blue onion. She's very picky about her blue onion pattern and it is all over her kitchen. She probably has thousands of dollars worth of that blue onion so I'm always um, on the hunt to recognize that pattern if I see it. Some vintage shirts, not my thing at all. Little bags. This one looks like all glass. I'm usually looking for things hanging down that sparkle. That's what catches my eye in a booth. And then also being a reseller and having like my niche like I do allows me to not, oh hi, <laughs> there I am, um, allows me to not spend all day in one store. Um, although I do really, really enjoy uh, antique stores. Oh, oh, look at all these. These are so pretty and how they're displayed. <gasps> look at how pretty this is. Yeah, it's so pretty. Oh, look at that little turtle. Let's go look. Okay. Oh, and he moves. It's so cute. Okay, let's keep going. Look at this ginormous sequin ornament. My grandma or great grandma or great aunt or someone in my family made these kind of things as crafts. And my mom still keeps them and hangs them up every Christmas. And this is crazy amazing. I'm gonna have to show my mom because this one is pretty fantastic. Those Rivolis are very, very sparkly. Let me just show you. You can see that pointed Rivoli right there. Wow. All right. This vendor is 50% off and they do sell jewelry. So found these probably gold tone flowers in horseshoes. So I'm thinking lucky screwbacks. I like selling screwbacks. I might just like selling screwbacks because uh, they're the ones I pick up the least and so my drawer is kind of empty. <laughs> Everything else is kind of overflowing. I wonder if these say anything on the back. They're kind of cool. Um, no, nothing on the back of that one. So that would make these two dollars. What's this? Pins. I could see these being Avon or something. I'll take a look at those. There is some palm trees. They're that Pawawa or whatever P A U A shell. These are also clip on. Let's take a look. Um, yeah, the clip on is not that great. They are yellow and orange, which is kind of interesting. Hmm, I will leave those. If they came in a jewelry jar, I would sell them, but I'm just gonna leave those. I'm going to see if these are signed. These are signed Jerry's. Um, I had to bend, bend it back a little bit because it's stapled on the top. But I'm thinking at $1.50 I could probably put these in my whatnot brooch sale that I'm going to be doing tomorrow. I'm going to be doing about 50 brooches and then a lot at the end. <gasps> Look at how pretty! so many pretty things look at that mirror oh my gosh so crazy this is very very curated let me step back for you guys look at this booth 
this person really likes styling things. Okay, do we see any jewelry, shoes, belts, hats, purses? Hmm, I see me. No, I don't, I see, ooh, look at that, MCM Jaguar. Hmm, there's another one. Little planter Jaguar. Wow, okay, let's get out of here. Oh my gosh, a little nun. Yeah, this, this is super curated. So I'm all done with that building over there and I made it over by the scarves and I've plopped myself down just so I can take a look. I've bought a couple scarves in this section before, but I wanted to show you. Look at this teapot. It is oranges and the flower comes up and isn't that just so sweet? That is really neat. So I'm gonna take this one. <clears throat> Take a peek. So, made in Japan, 100% polyester. It's like really unique. Ooh, this one looks like um, what is it? Um, um, uh, Laurel Birch, right? Laurel Birch caps. Might be. Yep. There we go. Laurel Birch. Let's see how much it is. Ten dollars and 20% off. Mm, this one I think I might get. Depending on, I'm not getting really great signal in here, so that's one thing. Um, polyester, I'm not sure what that says. I'm sure like all of these would sell on eBay, these like vintage scarves. Nina Ricci, what? Um, I'm sure all these would sell, but just depending on the price. So this says Nina Ricci. This one says 22 firm, extra large. Hmm. I will look into that. Anyways, I was saying that the um, the reception is here is terrible. Vintage scarf, seven dollars. Thai silk, made in Thailand, handmade. Blue and pink does seem like a bigger scarf. Um, what are you? This one looks like a handmade polka dot thing. This one is a little bit pulled. Vintage scarf. There's some really pretty ones. Ooh, this one's pretty. The darker colors. We took off the tag, but it does feel silk. Hmm, vintage scarf, three dollars. Definitely feels silk, but I'm not sure. But look at these really pretty colors. Hmm, I will think on this one. So I wanted to show you guys this is a Sarah Coventry scarf. I think it says made in Italy. Yes, a lot of these scarves are made in Italy. I'm not grabbing it. There is a little bit of a pull right there. I cannot look up Sarah Coventry scarves. I thought that was interesting though because I've only ever sold Sarah Coventry um, jewelry. Let me just show you what I grabbed. Okay, so I got this. This is like a novelty um, tennis racket scarf, which I thought was kind of cute. It says 1970s, $4 with 20% off. There is another one in here somewhere. Right here, purple, cute. Okay, then this one I thought was interesting. It has like ships on it. Really cute, nautical ships. This one is $5 with 20% off. It's a little bit bigger. This one I think is a really great find. This one is 100% silk with the Christmas. It's vintage Liz Claiborne. And let's see what I can find. Um, $5. So I don't know if 
um, she didn't see that it was, or she or he, whoever's booth this is, did not see that it was 100% silk, but it is. This one is $6. It's Oscar de la Renta vintage scarf, and it has like a tribal theme to it. So I'm going to grab that one. This Laurel Birch is $10. I still don't have any reception, so I'm not sure still. And then was I going to get this one? Let's see. This one says 1980s for four. I might leave this. I don't know. It like has like a really cute novelty print on it. Again, I believe it's just polyester. Eh, I think I'll... I'm, I'm conflicted. <laughs> I will leave that one. I think I have enough. And yeah, once I get reception, I definitely want to look this up though. And then let's see what else. Um, this is really neat. It has like this opalescent glass. And it possibly has a sterling silver chain attached to it. It's not marked or anything, but it definitely looks like it possibly could be. Oh, this is a magnet right here. This is a sterling silver magnet that it's stuck to. Anyways, you guys get the gist. Um, so this vendor has 20% off of everything. I have a bag of pierced earrings for five dollars and there looks like there's some pretty interesting things in here definitely grabbing that one thank you vendor jj um let's see what else there's some bangles and not as interested some belt buckles those are pretty I think I actually just sold one a couple days ago, a belt buckle. What is this? <clears throat> Bookmark. Electronic LED. Hmm. We do see a mustard colored hat. Ooh, this feels nice. What does it say? I cannot read that with the sparkles. Okay, so made in Italy. And then how much are you? Hmm. That's not telling me. Oh, it's very, very faint on here. So it was $20. I'm gonna leave that. Maybe that's why it's been here for a long time. There are some scarves, a hat, another hat. Hmm. Well, I'm definitely grabbing those earrings. Oh, here is a little brooch that is worn. This is a coral. Whoa, look at this hat. It has like leather detail, but all these little dangling flower bunch. Huh, what are you worth? This one is seven. <gasps> Do we need it for seven? Is it marked at all? It is not. I don't know. It's kind of a lot. Uh, I'm gonna leave it. Okay, so leaving that might be a little bit hard to list with all that going on. Hmm, there's some interesting things though in this booth. Little pig. Oh, what is this? Oh, I think it could. Red wing. Bob White half off, J and J. What does that mean? Red wing, Bob White. Is that this? I know there's red wing boots. Is there boots somewhere? Anyways, there's purses. Let's take a look. Uh, snake skin purse. I'm looking at purses, I'm looking at something that can stand out, usually online. Otherwise, like this. What's this? 18. Yeah, that would definitely stand out. Otherwise, if it's at the bins, <laughs> I usually pick up vintage purses. Um, not really seeing anything here. Cufflings. Ooh, cufflings for four dollars. Let's see if they're really worn. Ah, they're they're decent. It's 
sold like three pairs of cufflinks this weekend. There's like copper tone. Those are really pretty. Um, anything else? I take pants and grab it. It's like a. What is that? There's so many things that I'm like, what is all those things? Alright, let's grab it. What is this? A soldered egg. Okay. So, like a hawk, I see the blue onion. Let's see. So it says flow blue Holland pattern. This is older for sure. Look at it, it has a little bit of that raised um, scroll work. Crazing on the bottom, 59. That is what my mom collects. Not the Japan pieces. Let's take a look. There's another piece right here. This is flow blue square bowl. Um, faint marks on the bottom, pretty, and uh, <laughs> like a whole theme going on here. I need to show my mom. There's some pretty cool stuff here. This is really pretty, this little tray. What is this? Sugar bowl. Holland. So yeah, it must be the Holland, England things that she collects. <gasps> we have that little guy at home. <laughs> the kids love it. All right. Anything over here? I see one necklace. It is not real um, stone. Hmm. This person put jewelry into these tiny bags and then stacked them on here and you spin it like this and that is very <laughs> difficult to look through I mean I would much rather have it in a bin to sort through because then you'd have to like take things off take them out of bags to look at and there's, it's not like you can pass by it and something catches your eye, which is, I mean, there are these sterling, they say sterling silver on the tag, but I don't see that it says it anywhere else that I can see. Are these kachinas or are they just like Aztec, Mayan, Mexican? I'm not sure. Little men, screwbacks. Here's a cameo that looks very old black. Hmm. Uh, what is this? Unikite? That's that green and pink stone that is genuine stone. Uh, let's see. This one says silver bangle. Yeah, this is Lukoisne Oriental Fan 425. Um, yeah, there, I don't think there's any discount. This is pretty. What are you? Let's take a look. Um, peach stone pendant. It says sterling. Twelve seventy-five. Hmm. I'm not gonna grab that. It's pretty. But more bags. They are spaced out a little bit better. So, but look at this. This is like a little poisony thing, and it says, Who knows for two dollars? That's funny. I grab it because <laughs> it's poisony, and who knows, right? I do like that. Um, is there a discount in this booth? <gasps> I see more bags and jewelry. Okay, so is there a discount? Not that I can see, but. I do like that they have more spacing. What? Look at how pretty this is. It's a little carved shell. 
a really pretty seam carved into it. Hmm. Like that. All right, well, let's take a look here. These are fun that you can see them all. Let's turn it. Oh, a little cloisonne bell. Bell for $3. That uh, green thing on the top is not very beautiful, but I'm gonna take that. I am starting my little cloisonne collection, right? That's pretty. Hmm. If you guys see anything, let me know in the comments. <laughs> it seems like this is one of my favorite antique stores as of late. I mean, it is like, what, two hours away from my house, but I get here a few times a year. There's a skull pendant. What is this? Art glass bead, six layer, hmm, little compact mirror, stretch beads. There's some pins, bobcat. Hmm. What are these? Pierced earrings. You. Let's just take a look. Oh, there are those screw kinds. Yeah, look at so a lot of times. So it looks like um, a rhinestone did come off, but a lot of times this kind of screw on earring is gold. It's not marked. Yeah, a lot of these pieces are falling off. All right, we're going to leave that. Try to get it back. Ooh, a little old Mexico pendant right there. Hmm. That is really pretty. $18 though. It's a lot of fun things to look at. What is this? A brooch? $3. Hmm. Well, let's take a look over here. <gasps> There's more stuff. There's a lot of, oh my gosh. Okay. My, oh, and it's 20% off. Let's back up, back up, back up. So we might look at that brooch again. Where did that go? This one? 18, what's 20% off of 18? Um, $3 and 20 cents. Hmm. Hmm, I don't know. No, it's still not worth it. <laughs> All right, and what does this say? Designer, is this like another Laurel Birch? I don't know. What else did I see? This one? Anyways, I'll keep looking. I just went through this whole <laughs> bin right here. These are really cute, aren't these? This little fish brooch, three bucks. Um, anyways, <clears throat> let's just take a look at what I found. This was the win of the day. $4 with 20% off. I took a look, this is hand knotted heavier. And this is, I don't know if you guys can see wherever the clasp is, the clasp is right there. It is Vintage Joan Rivers, which is awesome. Gold tone pearl Joan Rivers just does it really well, so I'm really excited about that. Um, what was another exciting one? I don't know. These were a dollar clip-ons. I thought they were really pretty and unique. I like selling unique clip-ons. I don't know if you guys can see. There we go. And then this was a $2 Avon. And this does feel like genuine pearl, like it's like a four leaf clover deal, Avon marked. Thought that was really cute. And then these, I believe, are sterling silver. They're a dollar with the hematite and the dolphin, which already is a great deal. But I think right next to that copyright symbol, let's see if I can show you guys. 
right there. Copyright symbol, and I believe it says 925. I'm, I think. I, I would need to test these, but I'm thinking these are um, sterling. And then these also look sterling, but they're little studs. Really cute little southwestern pierced earrings. So like $2.50 each, or I guess like 2 bucks each. Cute. And then um, these I'm thinking on. But these two on the bottom are Avon. And then these are not marked little tiny baskets. I might not get these, but like they're like 80 cents each. Mm, should I get them? Yeah, I'll get them. And then this one says Sterling. This is Sterling Italy clasp. It says $7.50. And then this must be like an onyx pendant. So with 20% off, I think I can grab that one as well. Look at how cute this is. It says $14. I love the gold and the pink the rhinestones, but it has tiny little tongs in it. What is that for? What is this? I like love it so much. What is this for? Anyways, I did grab a couple necklaces, um, a couple chicos, and then that coral. So let me just show you real quick. This coral necklace, it's all coral, which is expensive. Um, anyways, it's also vintage, but it does say when you want to look on the side, I believe it might say that it's gold, possibly. Let's see, I can't really read it. Um, but it does say numbers, so it possibly is a gold clasp, so 28 with 20% off. I'm going to take a chance on that. It definitely can make my money um, selling it if it, I mean... Ooh, look at those little knockers, or those, whatever they are, cherub things. Anyways, I get really distracted in antique stores. I don't know, do I want this? I feel like it is so super cute. Like, what do you use this for? I need this. For what, though? Oh, it's so stinking cute. What do I need it for? You guys, tell me what I need this for, because I'm getting... <laughs> What are these towel rings? Oh, these are fabulous. I love those. This booth has so many cool things. Look at, look, a little octopus. Nine dollars for this octopus. Oh, you guys, look at this little glass octopus. And there's panda bears. There's a little crystal bear right there. Okay, so we are still here in this same booth that had all of the jewelry. What are these? I don't know. Buttons, I thought they might have brooches. And then look at this massive thing. It's $30, it does not say Bakelite. I tried the like smell test, I still cannot smell. But why do you think it's so expensive? Is it because it's Bakelite, maybe? I don't know. And then there are some other Chico's necklaces in here, but they're like seven, five, seven dollars. I got a couple like for three bucks. Anyways, I think I think we'll keep uh, shopping. My husband texted me and said that the girls are still not sleeping to take my time. That is nice. I will take my time. <laughs> All right, let's keep keep shopping. Thirty percent off everything. Look at that cuff. Look at that abalone shell beautiful thing. What else? Look at this. There's a lot of really, really pretty things in here. Hmm. That one says, Anne, what is that? Judith Ripka Heart Necklace. Wow, that's really pretty. Ooh, look at that. Like foil glass full oh, oh what is that large sterling bracelet with stones that is gorgeous you guys see that is so pretty oh, look at that that's really pretty too that purse that's really pretty it has like little mermaids on it I wonder how much that is 
All right, so there are some beautiful things in this case. Look at this orange stone sterling CVC set, 25 firm. This vendor does have 10% off, but look at this little sterling pendant for only $8. There's that really pretty, it looks like crystal cameo. Let's see what else, ooh. At that little it looks like um alpaca mexico you guys can see it. it's right there um what else oh, big light pin is it really five dollars is that really a big light pin that little red one right in the back um oh that's pretty too there's a lot of really pretty oh look at that harley davidson i think i might get that one because Harley Davidson does sell well. That oval pastel up there, it's really pretty. Hmm, there's some good stuff in here. Let's look down here. Wow, alpaca. Well, that says alpaca sterling, that little donkey. Hmm, I don't know. There's that really pretty sterling basket right there. Sterling tie clip that is so pretty and Art Nouveau right there. I think we're gonna get some things from here because there are some really, really nice. Oh my gosh, look at these rings! <gasps> look at so ten dollars each. Hmm, this is really pretty too, right here. Wow, okay. Get that damascene leaf right there. We're gonna get that one. Oh, look at that right next to it. It's so pretty. All right, we're gonna look in here. So this is an extremely lovely booth. And then this, I think I have this lamp. Or something really similar that we still haven't put up yet. But it needs to be rewired and stuff. So pretty. Okay, so I am going to see if the pig is still here. Where could it be? Did I miss it? Where is the pig? <laughs> Did I miss the pig? Really? Is it gone? <gasps> there it is! Before it was right here. So let's see, 15% off over 20. So. 115 for this giant pig that my children will probably break but I love it so much it is so absolutely amazing why do I need this so what is 15 off of I just figured it out that it was $98. Um, if this is here next time, I might want to buy it. Because the just it's just so amazing. I mean, look how huge this is. It's a huge, ginormous pig. <sighs> Let's look at other things. Those are pretty. I really like pink and gold together. Ooh, look at that. This giant decanter 140 all right I think I'm almost done shopping got a bunch of jewelry and bags and stuff and a lot of stuff or whatnot I think I'm almost done all right you guys done shopping hope you guys had fun shopping with me I had two bags full of jewelry I kind of wanted to show you some of my favorites uh, this is one of them this was $6 at 20% off, this like damascene leaf brooch. So beautiful. And um, this, this is like an alpaca, no, not alpaca. What is this? It does say, um, it does say 925 Alpaca Mexico, and then it has like the abalone and little chippy chips in there. It's a pendant and a brooch. This was $8, 20% off. 
And then these, okay, so there was like a bin with all these bags that looked like this. It said three for five dollars. So I got like 15, 18, I don't know. I got a bunch. And then one of my favorite finds from there were these screw back earrings. And they are marked Vandel on the back. So I found like Monet fur clips and Sarah Coventry stuff. A lot of just unmarked brooches that I can do in my whatnot show. Um, obviously I'm going to start those probably at like two to three dollars um, because that's basically what I paid for them. And then if like if you're a reseller and a follower, you're gonna get some good deals there. Let's see what else is in here. A bolo. Oh, this is another bolo in the three for five. This is a really cool eagle. I do like selling bolos. Um, this is interesting. Sarah Coventry watch with like roses on it. Um, let's see. <laughs> that spoon. There's some really interesting like three-dimensional brooches. This was in that um, three for five deal, unmarked, but still really neat, vintage. And yeah, so I'm going to go back to the hotel. We're gonna probably eat dinner and I'm going to try to list some of my whatnot stuff, um, list some more listings on eBay and hang out with my family. They're all sleeping right now, um, except for my husband, James. And that was so much fun. I love this store so much. And I told the lady if the pig is there next time, I just think I want to buy it. So, yes. And then this pendant right here, I actually picked up here last time. You might recognize it. It's that abalone pendant. I got it for 77 cents ish. Um, and today I spent 250 something for everything. Oh! And one thing for myself. So everything is basically like resale. No, two rings for myself. I'll have to show them later. Um, I do like my middle finger statement rings. Um, and then this is for Gideon. Look at this. <laughs> it's so cute. So I have like the girl version of this in the girls' room. And um, it's hanging up in like a little, vin not a vignette, a little um, picture wall. And then this one, doesn't it look like baby G with the blonde hair and everything? So I did pick up this one for $7.50, so it's so adorable. Anyways, let's get to work and I might go to Goodwill up here. We'll see. All right, so I did end up going to Goodwill. Stay tuned for the next video. If you like this kind of content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to like this video and comment down below and join our community here. All right, you guys have a great day. Bye.